Hi Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea, thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out who's thinking heavily about you right now and why. And this is a collective reading for Fire Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Fire Sign. Alright, let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, who is thinking heavily about fire signs right now and why? Take the open ones here, here, here. <laughs> Queen of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There could be multiple people here as well, fire signs. The first message that I got right away is that this person will be thinking heavily about you right now because they're waiting for some sort of answer from you. They're waiting patiently with a temperance here waiting for you waiting for something here perhaps waiting for communication from you or waiting to see three of pentacles and reverse if both of you could work well together um this person may be somebody you work with or could be somebody you are romantically connected with or could be a friend okay or a, even a family member and um, two cups here something about them wondering if you've been telling them the truth or if both of you haven't been speaking in a while, um, they could be waiting, or that they just could be waiting for your reply, like a message here, okay? No matter how long, you know, some people could be just waiting, because the Seven of Pentacles is like just looking at the phone all the time, because he's like staring at these pentacles, trying to see if any of these pentacles have will appear, because there's one here. That's already outside. And then we've got these six pentacles here inside the bush, right? So maybe you have communicated with this person, but maybe not a lot. There is someone here, yep. And also the Queen of Swords in reverse. This swords indicates communication as well. So maybe the communication between the both of you has been very little, very like random or no communication at all. Whatever the case is, I feel like... They could be waiting for your reply if you've been very slow at replying to this person. If it's not about communication, they could be thinking heavily or observing you with the two of cups here if if this connection could go somewhere. But at the same time, I feel like they're trying to practice patience here with the temperance. Feels like they don't really want to make a big deal out of it. Because the Queen of Swords and Reverse can be a little bit passive-aggressive. Or maybe, maybe this person will be a little bit upset with you, but they don't really want to show it. Because they do have romantic feelings for you. They're just doing the best that they can to be very patient right now. And the fool indicates them currently could be thinking heavily in regards of what you're doing. Because the fool indicates someone who is... Um, starting something new or going on some sort of an adventure or venture um, especially for some of you if you live far away from here or that you've gone on a holiday um, doing your own thing or started a new life or started a new lifestyle we've got the four swords here there's definitely a thinking card right yeah, this person is definitely thinking heavily about you right now. This person could also be an Aries. Can be any sign, yeah? Libra here. Virgo Capricorn Taurus with the Empress. So the Justice is here. and We've got the Four Pentacles here. Perhaps there's someone whom actually holds you very close to their heart, okay? Whether you, if both of you are together or not. Some of you, maybe this person lives far away. 
If not, if they live close to you, if both of you are still currently connected, they, I don't know, I just keep getting this energy like... It's like they're psyching themselves up, <laughs> trying to reason why if uh, if lately you've been acting a certain way or acting cold towards them or that if you haven't been replying to the messages uh, on time, fast, because it feels like they're waiting for something here, right? Seven Pentacles, waiting and observing. And the justice here makes me feel like yeah, it's like a poker face here. So this person is really hiding the fact that they actually resent you a little bit. Either due to lack of communication. Or resent you for doing something on your own without them. Because the fool indicates somebody free-spirited. Somebody doing something on your own. They may not be entirely happy with whatever you're doing right now. But you're not actually including them <laughs> like you're not including them in something here okay and i feel like that makes them resent you a little bit but they're, do they're doing the best that they can not to show with the justice here right because the judge usually has a poker face because they don't want to look like they're biased and then we've got the empress here a six of swords again this person could live far away from you if it's not that, Six of Swords can indicate them thinking heavily on gods of going to see you. Because the Empress here, it does feel like maybe they see you as someone whom potentially could be, you know, a lifetime partner. Doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific, but the Empress is also a mother figure or could be a grandmother. Some of you, your mom or your grandmother could be thinking heavily about you right now. Especially for those of you, if you live far away from your home and you're not... Or if you're not staying in the same house with your mom or your grandmother, okay? It's a mother figure here with the Empress. I grew up mostly, I feel like I grew up mostly with my grandmothers, both grandmothers. It's not from my dad's side and my mom's side. Because my mom was always busy working, my dad was never home. Uh, my dad was, you know, he was busy. <laughs> He was busy with nonsense. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm saying busy with not. Oh my gosh, my dad is an Aries. I hope he's not watching this right now. No, my dad was a playboy, right? I mean, that's the truth. And, um, you know, it is what it is. He was a playboy, so he was rarely home. And, um, hmm. What was my point, actually? I forgot. But anyway. Because suddenly I just r realized that my dad is an Aries. But anyway, we've got these Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups in reverse, Queen of Cups in reverse, and we've got the Hangman in reverse. If you're married, if you're married and you, ha if you're a f male and you have a wife right now, your wife is thinking heavily about you right now. Maybe it's because there has been some disagreements between the two of you, Three of Pentacles and Reverse, and that actually they're waiting for reconciliation to make peace with you. Things haven't been really great because Three of, Pentacles, uh, three of Cups here is in Reverse, so some unhappiness, some discord here, okay? That's just for some of you if you're a, f if you're a male and you are married currently, okay? Um, but these three threes here can indicate third party situation for those of you involved in a third party situation. If your person puts you in a third party situation, I feel like they could be thinking, observing, thinking heavily in regards of letting go of the third party and try to come together with you with the temperance here, restore the balance, just you and them because there are only two wings here. And then we've got the empress here, so they all they i feel like they want to leave the third party and be with you make you their only person okay that's just for some of you but then we've also got the pisces cancer scorpio strong pisces here some of you could be dealing with a water sign or that this person may have water somewhere in their chart i feel like this person is starting to see with the hangman here but we're starting to see you in a different perspective, right? Mm, 
They used to see you as the Queen of Cups in reverse. Perhaps for some of you, if you showed them your love, you told them how much you love them, they may have misconstrued that as neediness. That's just for some of you. But now they are seeing you in a different perspective that maybe you, you're not needy. Maybe you, um, the Empress here, maybe you're just very nurturing. Yeah. That's what I'm getting here, Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. Um, has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. But these readings are still new, so they're still relevant because I post them every single day. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow.